we had just gotten our first VCR. It was a Betamax. Uh, so we popped popcorn and we were all excited about this. And boom, a, a car bomb went off. Suddenly there was a blinding flash in the room. Blew a lot of the windows out of the hotel. And uh, I walked out into the parking lot and, and there were, uh, you know, some cars had been hit. So uh, they were burning and uh, there was shrapnel all over the parking lot. So I picked up a piece of shrapnel and uh, I keep that on my desk uh, as a reminder of uh, what it's like to be in a place like Beirut. <laughs> Living in Beirut, we had the civil war, the Israeli invasion, the massacres in the refugee camps. I was abducted at one point in South Lebanon, very nasty incident where they tortured and killed the people who were with me. But the biggest impact on my life was meeting American diplomats, and these guys all made their own beer at home. There are some countries in the Middle East where you can't buy alcoholic beverages. So uh, I got into homebrew and uh, eventually uh, got carried away with the whole thing, and we started Brooklyn Brewery. Starting a business is as exciting as running off to cover a war. There's a kind of uh, high that you get from sticking your neck out, and that's why eventually I uh, quit the newspaper business and, and started the brewery. I don't think I could ever um, take the easier path. Because it's no fun. The idea that you can pursue your dream uh, is really at the heart of America. I mean, they call it the American dream, right? And uh, I think most people have that desire in them. So to me, this whole company is a great expression of, of confidence in, in America and the way things work here. Uh, and uh, I'm very proud of the company. Uh, I, I feel very fortunate to, to have succeeded, uh, and I encourage anyone who's thinking of doing it to go for it.